Hey there, first graders. This is day six of our math lesson. This is for guided class practice 15A. So you're gonna to wanna to pull that out. And if you haven't already, you'll need to pause the video to write your name, the date, and the day of the week, and tally marks for today's date. If I'm right, today's the sixth. That's day six, six is the date, six tally marks. Okay, on the um, chart here, we're gonna write the number 104 on the place value chart. So 104, it says here, circle the digit that tells the number of 100s. So 100s would be right here. So circle 100. Okay, um, and then we're gonna go ahead. Michelle wrote, ooh, this is a new tricky one. This is a challenge one, so listen close. Michelle wrote a two-digit number on a piece of paper. This is a guessing game. She gave the children the following clues to help them guess her secret number. Michelle said, the digits I used are five and three. So which two numbers could you have with the digits five and three? Well, the first one you could have is 35, right? Three and five. And if we switch those digits, we would have five and three but there's more clues for her guessing game. Michelle said the number is between 29 and 41. Circle Michelle's secret number. Now look, is this number between 29 and 41? Yes, so we would circle that number. This is not between 29, 41, 53 is way after 41, so that we would not circle 53. That's how you figure it out. Number three says, Circle the clock that shows half past one. So if we look at all of these, we have to have one that's cut in half, so it can't be that one. Um, we're looking at other ones. When it's half past one, that means that the long hand goes halfway between the one and the two, right? So nope, not that. That's past two. Ding, 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 ding. It's that one right there. So circle the third one. Okay, let's keep going. Krista put the Lincoln cubes in trains of 10. So you see the Lincoln cubes in trains of 10. How many Lincoln cubes does she have all together? Um, so let's count by tens. 10, 20, 30, 40, and then the extras, 41, 42, 43, 44. So Krista has 44 Lincoln cubes. This is a pretty easy page today. Oh, this one's tricky though. It says draw tally marks to show the number of chairs in your classroom. Oh, how I wish we were there right now. Um, let's just do a little thinking, okay? How many students did we have in our classroom? Well, we had um, 14 students um, and we had two extra desks. So that would be 16. We had five chairs in the reading circle. So 16 plus five, that's a challenging one. Do you know it? I know it. Maybe you can figure it out, 16 plus five. 16 plus five is 21. And then I also had a chair in the reading circle, so that'd be 22. So if we think back to what our classroom looks like, and it still looks like that, there would be 22 chairs. So I want you to draw 22 tally marks. You may need to pause the video to do that and write the number 22 here. In the next section, it says find the answers. Now, I'm gonna bring up a number chart so that you can have something to look at to write the answers. So just hold on one moment while I pause the video and bring up a number chart. Okay, so I found you a hundreds number chart. If you look over here, you can see the hundreds. So here we're gonna find the answers. 79 plus 10. Well, 79 plus 10, 79 is here, plus 10 would take us to that, okay? So 79 plus 10 is 89. Let's look at the next one, 22 plus 10. Now remember when we're adding 10, we're going down to the next number family. So 22 plus 10, 22 plus 10 would be 32. All right, oh, here's a new one. 
five plus one plus four. We did that last week. We can't use the number chart for that. What I'm gonna do when I do five plus one plus four is I'm gonna look for two numbers that are easy to add together. I see one and four are easy to add together. What is one plus four? One plus four is five. Okay, what is five plus five? Well, five plus five is 10. So the best thing you can do is find two numbers that add easily and then add the third number to them. So here, one plus four is five, and then five plus five is 10.